I think um, having the sculpture park in Yorkshire has been a you know incredible plus because uh, Henry Moore and Barbara Hepworth were both born in Yorkshire, and um, I mean they were both born within Wakefield MDC, which is where the sculpture park is. So that that's a terrific plus. Um, Henry Moore, you know, came to the sculpture park it was terrific. I mean, he came very early on, and uh, and was extremely helpful and, and supportive. Uh, and became the you know the founding patron. I think in terms of bringing international artists into Yorkshire, it's, it's, it's never really been a problem in terms of you know where we are, the location of it, because artists are interested in challenges, you know, and they're interested in in opportunities, and and you know if the challenge and the opportunity is there, then then they will they will take it really. But you've got to gradually build up, you know, you know your reputation. And you've also got to have the money to be able to do these things, you know. So if you want to bring artists in from America or Japan or France or, or London or wherever, you've, you've got to find the money to be able to do it. So it's been a gradual process. Getting art and getting artists is not a problem for us. Getting the money, uh, you know, to support those projects is always the problem. And in terms of what it's done for the region... Um, well, it's helped to, you know, put the region on the map in, in, terms of, in terms of sculpture. I think it's contributed enormously to the, the economy of the region. It's, you know, contributed to, the, to employment. We employ over 100 people now in terms of tourism, um, etc. You know, so it's, it's made a big contribution. It, it, it just didn't happen. I mean, you know, it, it, it's evolved very, very slowly over a long period of time. The contribution it's made is that, you know, we now have a site here which is respected and accepted as a place where, you know, one can come and see major, major works of art and a whole range of uh, artistic activity. And it's now established as a site for, for serious and important exhibitions and having the various buildings we've got now to, you know, have that relationship between the indoor and outdoor. It's very rare, you know, the way we have a gallery where you can actually show work indoors, but from the gallery you can see the landscape and from the landscape you can see the gallery. That sort of interaction is, is, is terrific and there's very few places you can do that. Um, now, it took us a long time to understand what we needed, what the requirements were. And so I would say that we have made a big contribution, you know, to, to, to the cultural landscape. And there's evidence of that in terms of, you know, the, the support we get from the artistic community, but also from, you know, people in general and from education, but also from the number of people who come from throughout the world, you know, to look at this model. I think, I think audiences have changed and, you know, there is an audience out there. You know, one could say, one might have argued that there wasn't an audience when we first started. I'm not sure I would believe that because I think, you know, you don't know um, whether there's an audience or not if you, don't think make, if you don't make things accessible. And to me, I've always believed, you know, if you make quality accessible, you've got an audience, you know, but you've got to make it accessible. And we create the audience. You know, we definitely create an audience for Yorkshire in terms of contemporary art and, and contemporary sculpture.